With all the available gaming PC cases on the market, why the heck is everyone buying this PC case? Well, let's find out. This is a mid-sized tower gaming PC case from MSI. This is the MPG Gunganer 110R. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> this mid-sized tower is featured in two-tone black and is also available in white. This PC case features a tempered glass side panel, four ARGB 120 millimeter fans, and it does support liquid cooling, up to a 360 millimeter radiator. This PC case supports all ATX motherboards, micro ATX motherboards, and many ITX motherboards. And all the standoffs were installed in the motherboard already, which is great because some PC case manufacturers are too lazy to do this. At the top of the PC is a power button, a reset button, USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type C, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A, a mic in, audio out, and the Insta light loop, which controls the ARGB fans. So first, let's talk about the things that I love about this PC case. The first and most important thing about this PC case is the size. This mid-tower PC case can support all GPU sizes. That's correct. It can support the RTX 30 series as well as the RTX 40 series. However, there is one caveat. If you installed your radiator fan in the front of the case instead of the top of the case, this would shorten the available space inside your PC case, which could result in blocking the larger GPUs from fitting inside. So install your radiator at the top of the case to avoid this problem. MSI did a fantastic job with the wire management. All the wires and cords are well bundled together, which makes installing your PC components much easier. And the airflow inside this case keeps everything pretty cool. However, I do wish they had two more fans at the top, which would help push hot air through the top of the PC case. So is there anything I don't like about this PC case? Well, first, it doesn't include a remote for the ARGB fans. That would have been a great feature for this PC case. And like I said before, they should have included two more fans at the top of the case. And the third thing I don't like about this case is that cutout for the power supply at the front of the PC case. I'm not sure why it's there. Maybe for airflow or it's just aesthetics. I don't know, but it's kind of unusual. And one last thing, it would have been nice if the tempered glass was on a hinge, letting you open and close it like a door. But all of these things that I don't like about the case are very minor and I can live without all of that. This case is pretty freaking awesome. For $110, it's a great deal for a mid-sized tower. And if you're looking for a panoramic PC case with nine ARGB fans with a remote, make sure to check out this video, my $2,000 RTX 3080 PC build. It's a great video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.